So today we thought it would be fun to share with you guys about our musk turtles. The water's not froze today? Good. Sammy, you got some good snacks, huh? Like salads. You guys aren't much for salad. Olive, are you supposed to be in Sammy's bowl? What do you think, Sammy? Kind of acts like a pig. Olive, Olive, you got some treats. You got some treats. He's not going for the peppers. Hmm? He likes these. I know that's why. Right. But one more just has one more has to lay and then they'll all all eight with lay. But yeah, it's frozen. It's not gonna crack. Come on, Sammy, pull it. <laughs> it looks like it's four or five inches thick for sure. Like, here's what you should do.
you like them? Huh? You like them? You like them? Well, tell me. You dance? Come on. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Today, we thought it'd be fun to show you our musk turtles. And with me is the resident expert, Jennifer. She, she takes care of them mostly. How long have we had these, by the way? Do you know? I think we've had them about a year and a half for sure. So she's going to go through and just kind of tell you how she takes care of them and answer some questions you might have about taking care of musk turtles if you were thinking of a pet to have or to get from the store or from someone that you know. So I'm not an expert. Obviously, there's lots of information on the web that you can look up. Um, YouTube has lots of videos, but we just wanted to share what we did. So when we got them, they were the size of a quarter. Um, my cousin lives at a lake about two hours north of us, and she had these baby turtles, and she asked us if we wanted any of them. And at that time, we weren't sure what kind they were. Since then, we have found out they are musk turtles, or stink pot turtles is another name for them. And we brought them home, and like I said, they were the size of a quarter. We put them in a 10 gallon tank, and since then, they have really grown a lot. Um, one of the things that we do, they need a heat source, so we have a heat lamp. This is a UVB light, which provides them with the same type of light that the sun would provide them with. It gives them an area to bask, because they do need to dry their shells out. It helps their shells grow, Correctly. If you don't take care of turtles in the correct way, their shells will actually start to curl around the edges and you can stunt their growth. So if you're going to have turtles, you want to make sure that you do your research and you find out um, the correct way to take care of them. Musk turtles are bottom dwellers, which means that they don't come up on land a whole lot. They come up to bask, but yet they, are, they walk on the bottom. They're not like a painted turtle that swims real well. So they just kind of walk or glide off the bottom. That's why they call them bottom dwellers or bottom walkers. Ours are two males. We didn't know that till they got a little bit bigger. As they grew, we could tell better because their tails are wider at the bottom if they're a male and they're narrower if they're a female. And so we have two males, which a lot of times they don't suggest you do because they fight, but ours, Really, we don't have any issues with them fighting. I think the tank is big enough and they're small enough that we don't have to worry about that yet. Um, we have a filter. It's a charcoal filter. You can obviously see it gets out a lot of the bacteria and gunk. So that's what I would recommend is a charcoal filter and make sure you have a filter that's big enough for your tank. Make sure you also have a place where they can get up and they can bask. And we have extra rocks in here so that they can push off of them to get themselves propelled to get up higher because they need to come up for air. I thought it would be fun because turtles eat fish. I thought it would be fun to throw in some guppies. At the time, since they were so small, the guppies were huge and they couldn't catch them and they couldn't eat them. But lo and behold, my guppies had babies. So obviously there's something going on right in our tank. And all of these are like fifth or sixth generation guppies from the original six that I bought for a couple dollars so that's you can do that you don't have to because they are not good swimmers because they're so heavy they have a hard time catching the fish but we have caught them eating some every once in a while it's fun to throw the food in and then the turtles will come up and try to snap them which is kind of fun to watch too and it's just really relaxing there's a lot of times that we'll catch the kids sitting here or I'll sit here and just it's just fun to watch them swim and to see the fish and everything we don't have official names for our turtles. They get called lots of things. Um, for some reason, Bob and Tom keep coming up because they're two males. One of the reasons that they're called a musk turtle is because if they feel threatened in any way, they will musk or scent and it stinks. So that's why they get called stink pots or musk turtles. And the smell is kind of like decaying wood. So it's not a real pleasant smell. It's not overwhelming by any means, but we don't hold them a whole lot because of that. So some of the things that we feed our turtles is as a snack every once in a while, they get some dried mealworms. The kids like to throw these in and they throw way too many in. This is like a treat every once in a while. The other thing that I purchased is um, turtle pellets. This one says it's for a baby turtle formula. I actually have the adult version now. I just keep this little container because my other one's huge. I did have this and I really like this stuff. It is a multi-pack, so it has like shrimp 
and um, mini creel in it. Um, so I need to get some more of this because they did like the creel pretty well. You don't want to overfeed them, so you just few, throw a few pellets in or just a few little snacks in every once in a while. Sometimes I might do it a couple times a day. Most of the time I try to do it once a day because they do scavenge them. What I don't have in my tank right now that I used to have is live plants and I have to replace those because they do like to eat live plants as well. We also have in our tank, we have some bottom feeders that help eat the algae. And so I do every once in a while throw a little um, algae disc or algae fin in there for the bottom feeders to feast on every once in a while. So to clean up my tank, you're supposed to clean it um, regularly. I'm kind of bad about that. You're supposed to clean your tank like every couple of weeks. I let mine go longer than that because I have the bottom feeders that help get rid of some of the algae and I change my filter or rinse my filter out frequently enough that I don't have to drain some of my water out. They suggest you never drain all of your water out because your water actually has bacteria that they need and that they feast on and so you don't ever want to like totally get rid of all that good nutrition for them. But when I do, I drain uh, about half the water out. I take the turtles out, take the fish out, I clean everything off, get off any kind of algae or mold that's growing on it and then um, refresh the filter and put everything back in. The water that we use, we use from our well because we don't live in the city. We live in the country, so we have a well. If you live in town, they really recommend that you not use your town water because it has the fluoride in it. So you would need to purchase water. I just let my, my well water sit. I always keep two gallons sitting so that it's room temperature. So when I add it, it doesn't shock them. The other thing with musk turtles is not only do they have their musk scent to defend themselves, but they will nip. Um, it's kind of funny to see them opening their mouths trying to bite your fingers, especially when they were smaller. Zach, our oldest son, would, would stick his finger in there and they would try to bite it and they can't even get their mouths around it. But So they will defend themselves. We have seen them fight a couple times. They will bite or nip each other. For the most part, they tend to kind of like cohabitate very nicely together. So if you go online, they're gonna tell you to keep your water a certain temperature and to make sure that they have a place to bask that's warmer than your water is. I don't know the temperature of my water. Obviously my water is pretty well on point because my guppies will continue to breed in it and the turtles don't seem to be trying to hibernate, which is another thing that musk turtles will do. They will hibernate when it gets too cold. So heat and light, um, I just have this small heat lamp. I don't know for sure what temperature it's putting out, but obviously it is warmer at the basking spot, but it does heat the water as well because I have no internal heater for my water. One thing to keep in mind with any kind of turtle or reptile that you have is the, the salmonella factor. So if your kids are handling your turtles, make sure they wash their hands with soap and water so that they don't get sick. So as you can see, there's several things to keep in mind when you have turtles. All in all, they're pretty easy pets to take care of and they're fun to watch. They're kind of the highlight of our fish tank. So we said earlier, we've had them for a year and a half and we've really had no major issues. We've just upsized our tank and they only get to be about five and a half inches uh, at the largest. So it's a pretty easy pet to take care of and it's pretty fun. And It's a smaller breed of turtle. Um, so like Russ was saying, they don't get very big, but keep in mind, they can live for a very long time. We're talking 30 to 50 years. So this is not something that you're just gonna do for a while and then release into the wild because if you release them into the wild, they will die. They're not prepared to take care of themselves. They're used to being in a controlled environment. So this is for the long haul. So if you get them for your children, be prepared to be raising them when your kids are at college or your kids move out of the house. Or get ready to gift them to some <laughs> unsuspecting person. <laughs> because if they're cared for properly, they will last a long time. One thing that I needed to cover that I might not have mentioned before was the kind of stuff you put in the bottom matters as well. They do like to dig, so they want something soft enough that they can dig either sand or small pebbles. But keep in mind if your turtle is small, like mine was when I first got them, they don't recommend sand because if they would ingest that, it could um, hurt their digestive system and they could actually die from that. So do your research. It's a, it's a fun thing to have. The kids love watching them. They help feed them. They help take care of them. 
yeah, so that's all we got for you today. I um, hope you enjoyed that. I know it was a little, probably a little bit scientific over the top of our normal videos. We just thought it was a fun thing to share because we really enjoy them and it's... This is one of the many animals that we have. Yeah, and since it sits at the end of our kitchen table, it's a lot of times the subject of um, conversation, so... I've had lots of people ask about my guppies too, so... Yeah. They're just fish turtle bait at this point. Yeah, which is the harsh reality of animals. Actually, the guppies have been in another previous video when we fed them to the ducks. Ooh. Yeah. Ouch. Anyway, till next time, have a good day and we'll see ya. Here, girls. <laughs>